Hey everybody, it's Adam. I hope you guys enjoy this weekly recap of my lifting with uh, the Strength Athlete Program. Just finished up week five. You'll see some of uh, my son Owen's lifting progress. Been lifting with him a lot at Offit, uh, which has been great. You'll see some highlights from Christy Heights. As you guys know, our nonprofit, Free Weights and Freedom, volunteers there twice a week. Um, I've been coaching a lot lately, so you'll see some of the uh, some of the workouts there and our and our volunteering with the uh, with the kids there. Uh, some of my uh, my thoughts, the daily trip I got thrown in there about progress and priorities. Enjoy that, and then uh, stick around to the end, and you'll get some audio of uh, some cold <laughs> cold shower audio. Justin Spaulding talked me into it, so I've been hitting the sauna, but then Justin, uh, he mentioned some of the benefits of the cold shower, so I did it. It's about three minutes right at the end, so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so now we're going on to week five, day one of the strength athlete program. We started off with back squats, four by seven at Omaha Barbell, and then strong sleeves, eight man shirt. Weight's been moving pretty good lately, so uh, some knock on wood, I'll take it. After the back squats, I moved on to hit some leg press. Um, I like to use it as an accessory after back squats. Um, it feels good to get a nice, nice stretch. Uh, helps with my patella. I've had some issues with uh, patella femoral syndrome in the past. So I'm just getting, I think I did like 3 by 10 right here. Just a little extra work after the back squats. I ended my session at Omaha Barbell with, uh, I do 30 pull-ups, usually twice a week, so the strength athlete, you do back four times a week, so I try to balance my horizontal and vertical uh, pulling. So I hit some pull-ups, uh, I've been seeing some pretty good um, development in the last run, so I'll keep doing it. So after Omaha Barbell, I ended up eating meeting my son at, at Offit. He was with my daughter at Mellow Mushroom in Lincoln. So we met him at Offit and he's getting some trap balls that So there you go. Nice job man. Nice job on. I wasn't able to finish all my lifting at Omaha Barbell that Monday so ended up Benching it off it, a little split session. Weight's been moving pretty good lately. You're moving too quick. <laughs> Tuesday night at Christie Heights, we had them working on handstand holes, and then tonight was deadlifts. I think we ended up doing five by eight deadlifts. Had a couple of people hit some PR, so it was pretty nice. You'll see it here in a couple of videos of those uh, those PRs. I think Lolly hit one at at 175 and then Sarah ended up getting one at 195 so nice job all of you on the PRs on the deadlifts <laughs> brother sister handstand practice here we go Lolly let's go <laughs> alright Crystal here we go kick Get it. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> 
Let's go. Let's get it. You got to help each other. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah, there you go. Little bro taps. Working on deadlifts today. Right, there you go. Perfect, Crystal. Big chest, Ronnie. Big chest. We'll go two minutes after the last round. It's going on YouTube if you make it. Huh? It's going on YouTube if you make it. Oh. <laughs> no pressure. Huh? Do eight? Do eight No, I can't. I'm only going to be able to pick it up. Yeah, just try it once. See if you can hit it once. You can get that, Lolly. Grip that bar. Grip it. There you go. Oh, easy. Nice. on deadlift today. Right, there you go. Perfect, Crystal. Big chest, Ronnie. Big chest. Week five, day two of the strength athlete program. And deadlift for me, four by four. Uh, things are moving pretty well. My off it, as you can see. He was there with my son. He got some lifting in, so. Uh, it's also a bench day for me, 5x5 five five bench. Hit some back also. There you go. Uh, maybe not. Alright, stay tight, Owen. There you go. What's going on, Freeways and Freedom? What's going on, Facebook? It is Thursday here in uh, sunny Omaha, Nebraska, which is a welcome change from the last few days. Winter's been holding on pretty tight, but actually really nice out so you can see sun shining out here at Walnut on the lake. Getting a little movement in, getting some sunshine in. Feels pretty good. Uh, it is also thankful Thursday for uh, free weights and freedom. If you uh, saw our post today, we post a little bit of a theme every day. So, say I'm thankful for this beautiful weather today. I'm thankful that I have Walnut Creek and the lake and the trail within walking distance so I can get out here and kind of enjoy some uh, environmental wellness. It does a lot for me uh, physically and mentally. So, you know, I highly suggest that. So, get out and get out and enjoy nature if you can. Um, also, if you guys saw last week, I'm very thankful for, uh, for Dillon Brothers Motorsports and uh, Indian Motorcycle for their generous donation to Freeways and Freedom. Uh, that's huge. That's going to be a great start for us. And uh, also to um, all those who participated in the raffle who uh, bought a ticket, $20, $20 ticket. It might sound insignificant and it might... I know uh, the majority of you were hoping to win a motorcycle, but you know, maybe if you didn't win, you're not, you're not happy. But uh, that $20 ticket that each of you bought, sold about 500 of them, you're going to help a lot of people win uh, in, in the long run. So those are, that'll directly support uh, first responders, veterans, 
and their families. So once again, just wanted to say uh, thank you for that. Uh, this week we've, um, I think our theme this week really is uh, priorities and progress. We had a uh, post on Monday, I believe, it was Motivation Monday, and it talked about making uh, making health and fitness a priority. We tend to concentrate on that because that's a, that's a big part of our program. That's a big part of what we do. But it's also about making uh, making yourself a priority. And uh, you know, you po you see it a lot. I think we posted it about how many hours there are in a day, how many are in a week, and you know, finding time and finding time to fit in a few hours of activity a week really isn't that hard to do and you know a lot of people i know uh, it kind of rubs some people the wrong way you'll see some people say oh i work you know this many hours a week or you know i just don't have the time i'm busy but trust me you do you have the time uh you have to you have to make it a priority some people are good at you know scheduling it like an appointment um that they don't want to miss um others you know they can just write it down and that tends to work for them, but you just gotta kind of find, hey, how's it going? Yeah, you well, you have to find out uh, what works for you. And I will say this about that. Uh, you don't wanna go for, if you're going from nothing, you know, from being not active at all, you're not just gonna go to, you know, seven days a week of of being physically active. You have to, I'm a big believer in, in small changes over time. So, you know, tell yourself, set yourself small goals. Tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, uh, you know, get in two days of activity this week and try to hit that goal and then you kind of build from there. I'm also a big believer in, you hear me preach a lot about um, enjoyment and adherence. So find an activity that you enjoy and that you'll stick to. If, uh, if you don't enjoy going to the gym and lifting weights, then don't do that. You know, that, that's, maybe that's not you, that's not you, what you enjoy. Maybe you enjoy more of this, you know, getting out in the sun and the sky and you're out in the water in the lake and you're walking, clear your thoughts, that's that's good enough. If that's what you enjoy and that's what you'll do on a regular basis, then, then that's what you do. Uh, same thing, uh, the same thing like I said before about making yourself a priority, um, not just health and fitness, but yourself mentally and just becoming uh, becoming aware and present you have to set time aside for yourself uh, and, be, and get comfortable uh, with yourself. That was hard for me um, coming out of my divorce. It was hard for me. It took me a long time to get comfortable with myself and really make myself a priority again. But over time, you know, that's what I did. And I, I concentrated on it. I focused on it. And, and as time went on, definitely got a lot better. And I'm, I'm extremely comfortable with myself now and in my own skin. So. Just take time, it, you know, it's a, it's a progress, it's a, it's a uh, process, it's not linear, so that kind of ties into our other theme about progress. Uh, we posted about, you know, whether it's, whether you lose a pound or a hundred, you know, prog progress is progress, and I definitely believe in that. It is not a, uh, I think I attached a, an article from uh, Precision Nutrition about change, and that it's not a linear process, you know. We would all love, like, especially if we talk about weight loss a lot, because that's just kind of what the, you know, the what it tends to focus on. But you know, we would love to step on the scale if that's your goal to step on the scale every day and see it go down. You know, and that that chart going down every day. That's just not how it works. You know, it's it, there's a lot lot of factors that go into it. You know, hormones, water retention, you're just your body in general. And that's why I encourage a lot of people when I, that I work with to, to weigh themselves uh, when they first start on, on a weight loss journey, is to weigh themselves daily for like at least a week or two so you can get a weekly average. You know, you'll see that weight, you know, it'll, you know, it'll kind of bounce up and down, but over time what you want to see is that, um, is that line to trend down and you'll see that with, your, with weekly averages. So. Uh, highly encourage that. The same with um, the same with uh, tracking uh, or you tracking your intake. So some of it, not not everybody has to do that. And you know, I'm a, I'm a point now where I can probably probably eat intuitively. I know about what my intake should be, and I can kind of just eyeball it. But when you're first starting out, and if you had like a lot of weight to lose, I always encourage people to start a start a food journal. So. You know like a three to five day journal that way you can actually see it on paper 
you know what you're taking in and then you can adjust from there and i always tell people start with like the day prior or the a couple days prior because i guarantee if i told you just i want you to write down what you eat starting tomorrow it's going to be chicken breast broccoli kale and a green smoothie and i'm like now look at him like man i don't i don't see the problem why are you having an why are you having an issue but so that's why i always tell people to uh to start with a couple days prior so it's, so it's a little more accurate about what you're truly uh, putting in your body and that in, that in itself is uh is progress so if you haven't been doing that that's that's really your first start just just write it down so you can see and then you can make some as i said before you make some small changes over time you know if you're having a a donut and a uh you know whatever latte from starbucks and then maybe you make a change you know you change it to uh you're getting some protein in the morning you make yourself eggs or something like that you just make small changes over time and then eventually that becomes like your new normal and you just go from there so same thing with uh with the mental side and emotional side that you're if you're dealing with things that's why i'm a big proponent of journaling it really helps me that's a very like therapeutic thing for me is to write down what i'm feeling and my thoughts and that's why i like the video now because it helps me get them out you know i keep a lot of, i used to keep a lot of things in wouldn't let a lot of people in wouldn't let wouldn't let my feelings or emotions out and been doing a lot better getting a lot better about that but just write it down and i guarantee you you'll see you'll see changes over time with that too you'll start writing down your feelings and then you know you'll have some good days and you're gonna have some bad days but it'll be the same thing with weight loss you know you'll see over time that that line your emotional wellness your you know your weight your weight lines gonna be trend, uh, trending down with your emotional and mental wellness that line you want trending up towards more positive so it's uh i'm getting close to home just want to throw out some uh some thank yous to everybody uh, we got some big things coming up a lot of events that we'll start uh putting out starting next week so just want to say i appreciate all the support from you guys all the support in the future and uh man get out and enjoy this beautiful day in omaha and uh, i'll talk to you guys later what's going on instagram what's the word it is uh thursday afternoon i'm off work now omaha nebraska heading down to off it to uh get some lifting in i got some uh i'm on week five today will be week five day three of the strength athlete program so i got some uh squats today five by five uh fairly heavy for me so heavy day and, a, and a, uh, a lighter day in that program. We have a four by seven day and then a five by five. And I got some uh, overhead press to do. And then I'll hit some back and maybe a couple accessories and I'll probably hit the sauna afterwards. Uh, that's the good thing about Offit is that they have a sauna. Uh, a really nice facility there at the field house. So it's huge, plenty of room. Uh, the one drawback is um, I like to squat down in the CrossFit area. And they have zero uh, powerlifting bars, so they're all like Olympic bars, Rogue. It'd be nice if they had a couple of uh, Rogue Ohio power bars. They none of the bars down there have any center knurling, so it's just um, you know that smooth center makes it tough, especially when you're uh, when you're low bar squatting. It just makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, I put up a little poll earlier, so I've been um, kind of going back and forth in my head. There's a um, there's a powerlifting meet at USAPL powerlifting meet August 4th in Des Moines. I've been kind of going back and forth in my head. Should I uh, should I sign up? Should I not? And uh, so I threw out a little poll. I will be 44 when the meet happens. I turn 44 in July. And um, I just appreciate you guys' support. Overwhelmingly voted yes, I should do it. I think I had one friend of mine that um, actually said, no, you're too old, which I respect that honestly. I thought it was kind of funny, but um, I actually feel pretty good physically. Uh, I've dealt with some issues in the past with my knees, with both knees actually. Um, I had some pretty bad patellofemoral uh, syndrome, um, chondromalacia is what they kind of called it. I don't know, it was it was to the point where like the fall of 2015 and even going into 2016, I couldn't even air squat without it being like extremely painful. So got to work my way all the way back to squatting, but um, lately I've been feeling actually really good physically. So. I'm looking forward to the meet. I'll have a chance to finish this this cycle of the strength program. I'll have another, I'll have plenty of time to run up another full uh, cycle leading up to that meet August 4th. So I'll be kind of curious to see uh, what I can do. 
having that meet. Um, once again, I just appreciate all the support you guys gave me. Uh, we've been talking about this week on the uh, Fruitways and Freedom page. Mainly our, our theme for this week has been uh, priorities and, and, and progress. So we made a little post about on Monday, uh, Monday Motivation Monday, is uh, making making your uh, health and fitness a priority in your life. So we there's uh, you see a lot of times they'll post, you know, there's 24 hours in a day, there's so many hours in a week, you know, you, you can find a couple hours out of the week to, um, to find for yourself, for your health and fitness. Like I always say, I kind of preach the whole um, enjoyment and adherence thing. So you have to find something you enjoy. You know, not everybody enjoys going to the going to the gym and lifting weights. You got to find something you're gonna you're gonna actually want to do and you're gonna stick to. So if that means you know, like today at lunch, I went and walked around the lake by my house. If that's your idea of you know a fun activity, then by all means do that. Do something that you'll consistently do, but make time for it. You know, we spend plenty of time on our phones, on Netflix, on whatever, on Instagram, um, where you can find you know a good 20 to 30 minutes a day just to, just to get active, just to be healthy. But at the same time, you know, make you have to prioritize time for yourself also. We talk a lot about kind of pausing and stepping back and, and making time to, uh, to focus on yourself. Uh, that was something I had to do uh, coming out of my divorce a couple years ago. You know, I had a hard time with that. Um, you know, we were together for a long time, almost 14 years, and it took me a while to um, to focus on myself and get comfortable again being with myself. And I've come a long way, but um, I, I feel very comfortable now. I'm happy with myself. I'm happy where I'm at mentally, uh, physically, emotionally. So, kind of carrying on that momentum right now. Uh, the same thing with uh, you know with progress. We talk a lot about. Um, the theme for progress for this week was uh, focus on weight loss, and we, we do talk about that a lot. But you know, a lot of people think it's a it's a linear process, and it's not. So we would love to every day, if that's your goal, you know, you'd love to every day get on that scale and see it go down. But that's just not how your body works. It's you know, it's a pretty complex organism. You're gonna have you know different different things um, that factor into that, whether it's you know water retention from sodium, uh, hormones, whatever. But the key is just seeing that downward trend. You know, that's why I always tell people when they first start out, they weigh yourself every day for about a week, week and a half to see what that trend's looking like. So, you know, you might see it kind of up and down, but you want it to over that seven day, over that 14 day period, you should see it see it start trending down. Uh, and the same thing with you, uh, you know, for us, like mental resiliency is another uh, pillar of our, of our program for uh, Free Ways and Freedom. So. Um, what helps? What helps a lot of us? What helps me is to, you know, I, I, I'm a big proponent of journaling, um, whether that's writing it down or video, like I'm doing now. For me, that helps me a lot. So, write down kind of what you're feeling, and over time, I think you'll see um, you'll see some benefits from it. It'll be the, it's the same type of thing. Uh, you'll have some really good days. You might have some down days, but over over that time period, I think you'll see you know that trend will start going up. So. That's kind of what you're looking for as far as um, priorities and progress. But I really just wanted to, um, I really just did the video, this live thing today, just to say thanks. Had a lot of support on Instagram, people telling me, you know, to go for it for the meet. So I, I just appreciate it. A lot of people that I you know, only know from Instagram. So it's kind of good to see um, other people supporting others. So I'm almost out of it. Gonna get some lifting in. I'll, uh, as you guys know, I'll probably post some uh, some of my lifts today on the gram because that's what we do it for, do it for the gram. But I appreciate you guys tuning in and supporting me. I'll keep putting out some content and uh, just hit me up if you have any questions. Peace. Moving on to Thursday, week five, day three of the strength athlete. Started off with back squats, uh, five by five, a heavy day. Weight was moving really good. Uh, my knees have felt great lately, so I will take it. Uh, really trying to focus on racing and staying tight. That's why I've been kind of resetting at the top on each rep. Uh, my son was not there with me. He was with my, my ex um, on that day, but she was kind enough to send me some some pictures and some videos of him, which he's, we've been doing lately, uh, which is good.
Friday night. I'm at Christy Heights. It's awfully quiet in here right now, as you can see. Let's see if anybody shows up. It is 420, so they might be getting the weekend started a little early, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes tonight. Check back in with you. This was Friday night at Christy Heights. I uh, had them working on. We did a Tabata of planks, a Tabata going on, on Tabata hold, planks, a fun, Tabata uh, planks today. Relay. Fridays for us is Family Fitness Friday, so it's really good to see there. Sarah was there with her kids. We had uh, Got to hurry up and try to get a quick video. Only got 10 seconds. Tabata handstand holds. Really got a little stressed. sprint relay yeah, going on right now. <laughs> there you go, Adrian. Nice job, Judy. There you go, Gable. Let's go. <laughs> Uh-oh, see? Lolly says she's sick. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> leaving the Heights, Christy Heights Community Center, South O, it's America right there. Just uh, got some work in. Whew. All right, leaving South O, leaving Christy Heights. You guys know we, uh, I was coaching tonight, Friday night at the Heights. It was a little bit of a, a tame workout. It was a Tabata of planks, and then a Tabata, a reverse Tabata of handstand holds. And then we had a little partner sprint workout, so five rounds of sprints, uh, trying to beat your, uh, your your first round time. It was fun, it was nice, nice little crowd. I was a little worried when I first got there, there was nobody there, and then uh, Barb. So Barb, if you see this, you should have stayed, you shouldn't have left. Um, Family Fitness Friday, and uh, it was nice because we had uh, Sarah was there with her kids, and then we had um, Adrian was there with Lolly, so a little father son. So that was nice. Um, always good to see that. Always good to see the parents working out with their kids. Set a strong example. Get the weekend started strong. About to go get myself some food. Got a few of these gains. You guys know I. Uh, Got uh, signed up for a meet, powerlifting meet in August. Tell you more about that tomorrow during my training. But um, it was a really good night at Christie Heights. I always enjoy it. I enjoy supporting uh, Omaha Police Department and the PACE program. It's um, something I enjoy doing, so something I'll keep doing. In my uh, our overall goal to support first responders, veterans, and their family members. Big news coming. I'll holler at you. What up? Saturday afternoon, a little bit after one o'clock. Heading down to Offit right now is uh, get some lifting in. It is week five, day four of the strength athlete program. So today's a heavier bench day with some closed grip also, and then some pause deadlifts and um, some back. I'll probably throw in another um, hamstring hamstring accessory uh, since it is deadlift day to work on that a little bit. Uh, Some of you guys saw on Facebook, so I um, I registered for the uh, there's a powerlifter meet in Des Moines on August 4th that 22nd Street Barbell is putting on. So thought I'd go ahead and give it a shot. I've been feeling pretty good uh, physically, feeling pretty good mentally. Training's been going pretty good, so um, figured I like to um, I like to test myself, challenge myself, you know, throw it out there on the line get out on the platform and see what happens so really looking forward to that I wanted to get to the gym a little earlier today but uh, in Nebraska spring game was going on today everybody's excited about frost it's been a pretty exciting thing to watch so that uh, that started at 11 distracted me a little bit so but it's all good um, I really don't have much going on today so I'll go get some lifting in probably hit the sauna after that Another thing I've been I've been digging lately, and then um, another thing I wanted to try, Justin Spaulding kind of turned me on to it is the whole the the cold shower thing. 
supposed to help, help with maybe inflammation and uh, so we'll see. I'll post some audio of that. You guys don't want to see, you, you, well some of you might want to see, see some video of that but um, I'll let you know how that goes and also man like I don't know maybe today if I have time get this taken care of. It's looking a little wild right now. I definitely need to shave also but I'll, uh, I'll post some lifting uh, some lifting videos. I'll give you my uh, some of my recap afterwards of how I felt during that session. Been having a lot of really good um, positive interactions lately with some veterans. Uh, joined, a, I got added to a couple of groups, Nebraska Veterans, and then uh, Nebraska Veterans Coalition. And I already had a guy kind of reach out asking about about free weights and freedom and what we do, what our program is. So. That's, that's been really good to see um, veterans helping veterans that's kind of what you know, what we're all about so we'll have some more news about that um, we'll be at Guns and Hoses next week we have a lot of events coming up that we're going to be at just getting our name out there just getting our uh, letting people know about our mission what we plan to do as you guys know, you know we're raising funds right now we're trying to uh, transition to our own facility Christie Heights has been great but you know we're looking to go we're looking to expand upon that 24 7 access you know uh, group fitness um, a gym where you can come work out yoga peer-to-peer -peer counseling little lounge area that's the vision right now so uh, we can't make that happen without people supporting us like you so I appreciate it um, I don't know I'm on Cape Park Road right now and um, about to get some lifting in all right we're here field house to get some lifting in check it Boom. Pretty big facility. Let you know how it goes. All right, Saturday, finishing up week five of the strength athlete. So day four. Starts with a heavy bench, uh, four by four, and then moves on to close grip, three by three, and then get our PE eight. Um, after that, I ended up doing some pause deadlifts, three by three, uh, which went really well. And my son showed up, which is cool, as you can see. So I got some uh, some time in with him, helped him out a little bit on the bench, and then uh, moved on. I did some uh, some back, some dumbbell rows, and then I ended up doing some uh, dumbbell RDLs just to get that hamstring a little bit more. refreshing it's hot all right we out I think. hold up I'm in a wreck right here just got done lifting just uh, hit the sauna love that thing feels pretty good not really sure about the benefits there's some research that says it helps some heat shock proteins Joe Rogan where you at to the shop at or the whatever they call it here uh, little px got myself a little monster a little late for me a little after four drinking a monster but whatever and then uh as an ode to my boy jose vega little um oh yeah one bar quick shot of protein 
weekends, um, I usually sleep in a little bit, so I don't really even eat until almost noon. So before the gym, I just had some uh, old-fashioned oats, a little bit of almond milk, uh, some blueberries, cinnamon, and then I had a protein shake before, so I'm pretty low on calories. It's 4 o'clock, and I'm really low right now, but the uh, lifting, lifting session went really well. Felt pretty good on the bench. Uh, I had a uh, four by four on the bench and then three by three uh, close grip right after. And uh, it was weird for me. I feel almost as strong close grip as I do my normal grip. I don't know. I don't know why that is, but overdeveloped triceps maybe from the army. 20 years of doing push ups. Probably overdeveloped them a little bit, but felt pretty strong in there today. And then I had a three by three pause deadlifts. Felt really good today. Um, Got kind of lucky. I don't know why I didn't bring my belt. Um, knowing I had pause deadlifts with the with the back issues I've had in the past, usually I always have it with me. But I think it threw me off when um, I had bench first. So in my head I was thinking, oh, I'm benching today. I don't need it. But I actually got lucky. My ex was there with uh, my son, which was unplanned. Uh, I know he was lifting today, but I didn't know he was going to be there at the same time I was. So I used her. <laughs> she has a one of those harbinger. Harbinger belts, pink. Hey, got the got the job done for me, so that felt good. And then uh, I hit a little bit more, uh, did some back, some uh, dumbbell rows uh, for the back, and then did a few sets of some dumbbell, um, like some RDLs or stiff leg deadlifts, just to hit the hamstrings a little a little more. Um, I did a few, did like one set of uh, glute ham raises. Uh, luckily, off it has like five G GHRs, so I did a few of those. I think it. I think I'll get back to that. I just want to see how they felt and even if I had the, the strength to, to do them. So I was able to knock out like eight, felt pretty good. But so I'll, I'll probably keep doing those. Um, I like to do um, one one accessory after my main lift. So I deadlift twice a week, I squat twice a week, and then I actually bench in this program three times a week, the strength athlete. So that's another thing I think I ask on Instagram or Facebook. So. Uh, I signed up for that meet in August. So I'm on week, I just finished week five of the strength athlete program. So I'll be done with that. You know, it's nine weeks. And then I think I'll have like 12 or 11 or 12 week, weeks leading up to the meet. So I need to see what I'm gonna do for those couple, those few weeks before I start the nine week again. Maybe some hypertrophy, a couple weeks of hypertrophy, do some front squats, maybe some different movement patterns and then get back on uh, the nine week program. So we'll see, I'll ask for some advice from some more of you guys that are experienced power lifters. And I've only done one meet, that was last year. So this is only my second meet. So I'm still kind of like feeling that out, what the process is and the lead up. But um, I'm looking forward to it. So Saturday, it's been chilling this weekend. It actually felt pretty good. Um, been pretty busy lately. We'll be busy next weekend at Guns and Hoses. So. The weeks leading up, I'll be my week is will be getting kind of full with events, which is good for the nonprofit. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy your Saturday. And peace out. All right, I let Spalding talk me into this shit. His uh, cold shower routine supposed to have some otherworldly benefits, reduce inflammation. Um, just took a normal shower, but um, now I just turned it to cold. Supposed to do it like one to three minutes, so I'll just leave it. I'll just leave this running for audio purposes, but you don't want to. You don't want to see what's going on right now. All right, here we go, baby.
Definitely gonna have to work up to uh, the three minutes. Oh shit! Let's hope that has some actual benefits. That was pretty cold. Thanks, Balling.